there again. That's when he going to remove all the sins permanently and save you on this day. Go ahead. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, mm -hmm. and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Uh-huh. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Now, when it get down to that last trumpet blowing, and he gathering his saints and raising the dead, you can say you've been saved. And this will climax on the day of atonement. Notice the trumpet is sound. He sent his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Go ahead. And they shall gather together. It's select mm -hmm. from the four winds, mm -hmm. from one end of heaven to the other. Okay, at the sound of that trumpet. So now let's go to Isaiah 13. The sun and the moon getting dark and everything. It's going to be a terrible day, but for those that's doing his will, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a saving day. I finally know, I guess because it's Sunday, I finally know how them Sunday preachers get all that stuff in their mouth. <laughs> so I feel like I, you probably see a bunch of white stuff over here. I used to look at some preachers and say, what is that stuff in their mouth? <laughs> On the side, I couldn't even listen to what they were saying because that white stuff was moving. <laughs> I feel like I got a lot of white stuff up here. I keep wiping them. I'm messed up, but we're going to keep going, right? <laughs> he said be afflicted, so we're going to go with it. Isaiah 13 and 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. Uh -huh. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth. Uh -huh. And the moon shall not cause her light to shine. See, just like we read in Matthew 24. Because he's going to move the sun and the moon out the way. Shake up the whole atmosphere. The sky going to roll back. And here he come. Go ahead. And what he what he coming to do? Rapture us to heaven or what? And I will punish the world for their evil. See, he punishing the world for their evil, but we know he coming to save his saints. See, he, he got manifold things he doing. Go ahead. And the wicked for their iniquity. Uh-huh. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Uh-huh. And will lay low the haltiness of the terror. So if you got a lot of pride, you better work on that now before this day get here. Go ahead. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. That means it's gonna men gonna be scarce in number. Scarce in number. More precious than fine gold. That's when he started talking about that seven women gonna grab one man. There ain't gonna be no men left, period, at this time. More scarce than fine gold. Go ahead. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophi. Uh-huh. Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth. She'll remove out of her place. He's going to shake up everything, brother. So this is going to be a terrible day for the world. But for those that's doing his will, that's joined in his affliction, knowing. See, he had it where we, we'll be in the right frame of mind if you're doing his will, because you will be fasting on this day. If he came today, we know he couldn't come today, but if this would be the day he would come, we'd be in the right place doing the right thing. You wouldn't be caught out there doing something you didn't need to do, at least today. So he said, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the what? In the wrath of the Lord of hosts. Uh-huh. And in the day of his fierce anger. Oh, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, in the day of his fierce anger. But we in good shape because we recognize in the atonement that's being made and that live goat was alive. Jesus was resurrected to save you from the wrath to come. So you need to be you need somebody that can take care of you all the way to the end. So this is the wrath he delivering you from. Wrath that's coming from him. Go ahead, one more verse. And it shall be as the chase rope, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. See, everybody going to go home. It's going to be such a terrible day. They ain't going to try to rebuild nothing where they at. The Lord going to tear the whole world up. And everybody going to say, skip it, let's just go home, man. This is rough. He going to tear the world down to the ground. He's talking about skyscrapers and fail, everything. He ain't going to leave nothing. So He's going to flatten the world. And you're going to have to start from scratch under righteousness. The people left, they ain't going to be like, you know, now a hurricane come. A lot of times, you very seldom see, they say, well, we're going to move on. We're tired of this. A lot of times, they say, we're going to rebuild. We're going to do it again, you know. 
They ain't nobody going to say that. They're going to, look, let's go. Let's try to just get some peace. People that speak the same language, they're going to say, look, man, let's, let's go to where we from. You from Zimbabwe, let's just go to Zimbabwe. You from Poland, let's go to Poland. The people that know the Lord are going to go to Israel. Israel, of course, first and any other believers, they're going to go to to Israel. So he said, it should be as a chase road. What do you mean a chase road? You know, just like you very seldom see a dog can get hit on the expressway. You drive through the Dan Ryan. Ain't too many people going out there. They got some people who might try to clean it up, but a lot of times ain't nobody going out there trying to pick it up. It shall be as a chase row and as a sheep that no man take it up. That's, he's talking about the earth, though. Ain't nobody going to claim responsibility. Okay, this is what we're going to do. No, you ain't going to do nothing. Wait on the Lord after this devastation. They shall every man, this is what they're going to do. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone to his own land. Now, again, like I said, if you didn't know you Israel, you wouldn't know where to flee. We'd be looking at each other, where you going? I don't know. Everybody going home. I ain't got no home. But thank God when you know you Israel. Leviticus 25. And this is where the title scripture comes from that we read in the opening. Leviticus 25. And we're going to pick it up at 13. Leviticus 25 and 13. Okay. Go ahead, my brother. In the year of this jubilee, you shall return every man unto his possession. See, Lord Ben foretold this. He foretold this back here. He had Israel doing it as an example. This is an example of the end. We read every man going to turn to his own people and flee to his own land. In the year of this jubilee, jubilee came every 50 years, they exercised this. Every man went, went, had to go to his own possession. He could have moved on, went here, went there, and he went on back home. Go ahead, verse 14. I'm sorry. Back up to verse 8. My bad. Verse 8. Go ahead. And thou shalt number seven sabbaths of years unto thee. Uh, this, seven times seven years. This is how you got to this jubilee where every man returned to his own possession. You had to count seven sabbaths a year. Just like you did Pentecost every year. Well, you did Pentecost year every 50 years because that's really what Pentecost points to. The 50th year. Go ahead. And the space of seven Sabbaths of year shall be unto thee forty and nine years. Seven times seven is forty-nine. So every seventh year you had a Sabbath of the land. You weren't even supposed to reap the land. Let the poor people get it. See, Lord had a system to work out. Look out for the poor people because you always had some poor. But go ahead. Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. You think that's any coincidence, brothers and sisters? On this day, that trumpet we read in Matthew, the last trumpet, the trumpet in Revelation eleven fifteen, it's going to sound on this day. He was foretelling this a long time ago. You're going to cause the trumpet of Jubilee to sound. All his feast days coming in line. We just celebrate the memorial of the blowing of the trumpet. Before that, we celebrate the Pentecost, the 50th day, which points to this year, the 50th year. Ten days ago, we celebrate the memorial of the blowing of the trumpets. Today we celebrating the Day of Atonement, so you're going to cause the trumpet of Jubilee to sound on the 10th day of the seventh month in what? In the Day of Atonement uh -huh. shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. See, on this day, that, there you go again. That tell you what day it is. It ain't the ninth day. He just back up and tell you the ninth day when it starts. No, the 10th day of the seventh month is the Day of Atonement. Throughout all the land, and what you going to do? And ye shall hollow the 15th year. The 50th year. The That's 50th the, year. You're going to make that whole year holy. See, this is the year the Lord coming back. We can't even calculate it now because we've been so out of pocket. But he already foretold it. This is when he's coming back. This is what it's pointing to. You're going to hollow the 50th year and do what? And proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. Uh -huh. It shall be a jubilee unto you. And ye shall return every man unto his possession. And ye shall return every man unto his family. Didn't he foretell that when the sun and the moon got dark in uh, Isaiah 13? One more place, 1 Corinthians 15. First Corinthians 15.
You can breathe with sigh of relief. But you better not suck nothing in when you take that air back in. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 1. 15 and 1. Okay, go ahead. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, uh -huh. by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, uh -huh. unless ye have believed in vain. See, the title is, Thank God for His Atoning Sacrifice, which forgives and leads to salvation. You ain't got salvation yet. We working on it. The atonement is paved the way for us. So that's why Paul told these people about with the Corinthians, you would heard the gospel and you saved if you keep in memory what I preached unto you. If you keep in memory, you can let it slip, brother and sister. Satan going to throw all kind of tricks and gamuts in the way to see if you're going to let it slip. That's why he said, don't let no man take your crown, by which also you are saved if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless it's all been for naught. Now, he's going to break that down one more time, verse 12, and go ahead. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, mm -hmm. how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? See, people was kicking on the resurrection back there. Paul had to clear it up. How you saying there ain't no resurrection and we telling you Christ rose? I'm going to tell you about if it ain't no resurrection, 13. But if there be no resurrection of the dead, uh -huh. then is Christ not risen? And see, that live goat was of utmost importance. Because if you don't have that live goat, then that means Christ ain't risen and what? And if Christ be not risen, uh -huh. then is our preaching vain? Uh -huh. And your faith is also vain? See, this lets you know the dead goat wasn't enough, brothers and sisters. And the live goat couldn't represent Satan. It's none other than Christ. Satan ain't playing a part in God's atoning sacrifice. Go ahead. Yea, and we are found false witness of God. Because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ. Mm -hmm. When he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. See, if the dead don't rise, we wasting our time. Again, if I found out that wasn't true, you'd be reading the Bible, that door would be closed. And I'd be gone somewhere. Getting some chicken. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. But if the dead rise not, uh -huh. then is not Christ raised? Uh -huh. And if Christ, if Christ be not raised? If Christ be not raised, hence the purpose of the live goat, your, what else? Your faith is in vain. Your faith is in vain. You ain't got nothing to have faith in. Go ahead. Ye are yet in your sins. See, your sins ain't been atoned. It took both brothers and sisters to get rid of your sins. How would Satan help in getting rid of your sins? Uh-uh. Go ahead. Then they also which are falling asleep in Christ are perished. That's right, because ain't no resurrection. Go ahead. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, uh -huh. we are all men most miserable. If it's just, that's how, you know, some of the, 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 the fleshly brothers are. They had the Sadducees back in the day. You got Muslim brothers the same way. They ain't talking about nothing. It's all about here and now. I ain't looking for no pie in the sky. Well, I ain't looking for pie in the sky, but I'm looking for Jesus in the sky to come back and fix this. Something's going to happen, and even if I die, I'm looking to be resurrected. Because if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all men most miserable. Go ahead. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. He is. Go ahead. For since by men came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Okay, that's good. Adam brought it on us, and Jesus took it back. Skip over to verse 51. Verse 51, and this will be it. Go ahead. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. See, everybody not going to die. Some people going to make it to the Lord. We hoping to make that cut, but go ahead. In a moment, uh -huh. in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. At the last trump, the same trump that he told you, the trump of Jubilee going to sound on the day of atonement. That's when the last trump going to sound, brothers, since we understand the scriptures. Go ahead. For the trump shall sound, uh -huh. and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, uh -huh. and we shall be changed. Uh -huh. But this corruptible must put on incorruption. That's right. And this mortal must put on immortality. See, that's, is that, this is that tabernacle from heaven you waiting on, but you ain't going to get it when you die. You're going to get it at the last trump. Go ahead. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, 
and this mortal shall have put on immortality. Mm -hmm. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. And what is written? Death is swallowed up in victory. See, only then can you say death is no more. You can't go to a funeral and tell me the person ain't dead and none of this ain't happened yet. Now, death won that day. Death winning every day. Death is winning right now. But then you can say death is swallowed up in victory. Once that trumpet sound and the people come back from the dead, they didn't beat death now. Go ahead. Then you can say this. See, right now, death winning. They, they pulling three card molly on you. You go to a friend. You're looking at the person dead. They ain't dead. I got a bridge to sell you, too. Send me some tides. They ain't dead. They gone on to be with the Lord. That's really three card molly. You can't say this now. Go ahead, 55. Oh, death. Where is thou sting? Right there. You're looking at it right in the casket when you go to a funeral. You see the sting of death right there. You won't, when you see the resurrection, then you can say this. See, this is plain and simple. Go ahead. Oh, grave, where is thou victory? See, you see in the victory of the grave, when you go to the grave, y'all, you watch them lower somebody down, and you're going to fool yourself, say they're in a better place. Well, that place is better because they ain't got to deal with your foolishness no more. Hmm. But they ain't in heaven. They right there where you lowering them down. Grave is having the victory on that day. Go ahead. The sting of death is seen. That's what gets you there. But see, thank God for the atonement. It's a sacrifice which forgives and leads to salvation. But the sting of death is sin. Go ahead. And the strength of sin is the law. And the strength against sin is keeping the law. That's why it's important to know the law. People want to do away with the law and talking about sin. They got everything messed up, but thank God we got some understanding. We can try to share it with some people. That's what we're trying to do. I wish everybody that was in church today understood what we understood. The world would be much better. We'd be close to the kingdom of God then. But we can say this, verse 57, go ahead. But thanks be to God. But thanks be to God. That's the title of the lesson. Thank God for his atoning sacrifice, which forgives and leads to salvation. Thanks be to God, which what? Which giveth us the victory uh -huh. through our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, mm -hmm. unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And I hope you got some understanding in Jesus' name. <laughs> now, I don't think the choir want to sing no more, but they can. Somebody asked me something, so I guess we're going to do it. Come on. <laughs> they don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, really. But like, like I told Brother Mark about something else, we too, we too deep in now. Ain't no turning back. So this will help wake everybody up, give you another perk to make it to the end. I should have had them come up. See, I wasn't thinking. I'd be had something to eat. I'd be thinking a little bit, working ahead, of it, but now I'm on edge. On the moment. I really want the kids to come up. I can sit down and let the kids come do that song they did. But now we're going to do this, I guess. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> well, I'm going to say this. If you, again, if you're somebody that take medicine and got to eat, you know, the, the Lord understands that, so you got to do what you got to do, especially people that's diabetic. And I mentioned earlier how Esau changed the day. We know that they've been doing it for years. They kept it yesterday, but today is the day of atonement, brothers and sisters, the 10th day. We don't change it. They purposely change it because they think it's too much to have back-to-back -back Sabbaths like we're doing today. But we're showing it ain't too much, and we're showing we can go through a whole lot of scripture on it too. So y'all did good. I'll give y'all self a hand. Really, this is easy for me because I like doing it. I could keep going. Did y'all know that? I'd be like Mark told me if he fainted when he was teaching, just put some sauce on me and wake me up. That's what you do for me. You told me when you woke me up, I had to finish too. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. I don't know what's going on here. Let me see it. No, that's okay. I'll keep this one. Blow up the
the trumpet in a new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statue for Israel. Roll the tape. And a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony when he went through the land of Egypt where I heard a strange language that I understood not. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob whom he loves, Selah. God is going up with the shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever 
Praise the Lord. And now you, before I can stay here, we're going to ask everybody to stand up and face Jerusalem. And we're going to close out without no ado at all. We ain't got to bless no food. Well, you can, unless you want to bless it ahead of time before the sun go down. But you can do that then. Let us pray. <laughs> Our Father, which art in heaven. Our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he is good. For he is good. For his mercy endures forever. For his mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. For he is good. For he is good. For his mercy endures forever. For his mercy endures forever. These things we pray in Jesus' name. These things we pray in Jesus' name. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. The Mighty One of Jacob. The Mighty One of Jacob. The One True God. The One True God. And there is no other. And there is no other. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen.